Push That Rock here with Simpson Math. Let's talk about matrices as functions. Any n by n matrix serves as a mapping from Rn to Rm. M is the number of rows in the matrix. N is the number of columns in the matrix. And notice that the number of columns determines the domain, while the number of rows determines the codomain. So we go from the domain to the codomain. So we go from n space, a vector space of n space vectors to m space vectors. So an m by n matrix maps rn vectors to rm vectors. Okay. Well, how does it do that mapping? Well, you take the first entry in the input and you use it to scale up the first column in the function. Then you add plus the second entry in the input scales the second column in the function. And then you add the third entry scales the third column and so forth. Huh? What does that mean? Okay, let's use math symbols. Here's a matrix. Doesn't look like one, but I've noticed the arrows. So this is a vector. So there's a bunch of numbers here, a bunch of numbers here. So we have columns. And then once we write down the columns, well, then we have rows going across like this. So this is a column, this is a column, and this is a column, and so forth. And here is the input, a vector, and it has entries. Entry 1, entry 2, all the way to entry n. Now, we take entry 1, and we multiply it by column 1. See? x1 times column 1. Then we add that to entry 2 times column 2. And we keep doing that until we get to the last entry, times the last column. So you scale up the first column by the first entry in the input. Then you add that to the second column scaled up by the second entry in the input and so forth and so on until you get to the last column. Pretty simple, but maybe we should do an example. Let's do an example, let's use a three by two. So notice there's three rows two columns. That means we're going to go from two space to three space. So I'm going to pick up a two space vector. That means it only has two entries. This is like an ordered pair, you know, in a two dimensional plane. Go over four, down a half. Okay, anyway, so we're going to take this first entry times this first column. Boom. Plus the second entry times the second column. Easy. You know, first entry to first column plus second entry times second column. If there was a third column, we'd have to have a third entry. Okay, now to do the scaling, it's really easy. You just scale up the vector. That means you multiply all the entries by 4. So 1, 2, 3 becomes 4, 8, 12. And then we, in the second column, we're scaling it by the second entry, so we're multiplying all these by a negative half. So 4, 0, 8 becomes negative 2, 0, negative 4. Easy. And then how do you add vectors? Well, you add them naturally. You just add straight across. 4 and a negative 2 is 2. 8 and 0 is 8. And 12 and a negative 4 is 8. Notice we've got a 3 space vector. We started with a 2 space vector and we mapped it to 3 dimensional space. So we lifted it off the plane and put it out in 3 dimensional space somewhere. We transformed dimensions. We're traveling dimensions. Man, and who said math won't take you places? Everybody says I'm going too fast, so I'll slow down. Here's an example using a two by three matrix. Two rows, three columns. Okay, so we're going slower. So we have three columns, so that means we need to go from three space to two space. So that means I need a three space vector over here. So the input has to have three entries, one, two, three, because this has to belong to three dimensional space. You go over, negative two, then you go um, up two, and then you go in the third dimension six, okay? Now, the way you do the transformation is you go the first entry times the first column. So I wrote down this negative two times this first column, one, five. Second entry times the second column. So this two by the second column, one, half, three, right here. Then this third entry, six, we're gonna multiply by this third column, which is zero, negative two thirds. And then we add, so it's first entry times first column plus second entry times second column plus third entry times third column. That's how you do it. First entry, 
first entry times first column, plus second entry times second column, plus third entry times third column, and keep going until you get to the last entry times the last column. It's easy. Now scaling this is easy. 1, 5 becomes negative 2, negative 10 when you multiply by negative 2. 1 half 3 becomes 1, 6 when you double everything. And then when you sextuple 0, you still got 0. And when you sextuple negative 2 thirds, well, you have negative 4 because 3 goes into 6 twice and 2 to negative 2 is a negative 4. And now how do I add those three vectors? Negative 2 plus 1 is a negative 1 plus 0 is a negative 1. Negative 6 plus, I mean, negative 10 plus 6 is a negative 4 plus a negative 4 is a negative 8. Hey, look what just happened. We took a three-dimensional location, three-dimensional location, and mapped it to a two-dimensional location, a location in a plane, on a flat plane, like maybe a flat TV screen or computer screen. I wonder if you could think of an application for this type of mathematics. Math made simple, Simpson Math.